And I just want to welcome everybody tonight to Back to School Wellness. In light of everything that's going on right now, we really are uh, tuned in to making sure that our kiddos are, are healthy and stay healthy. And so we're going to talk about how we can incorporate essential oils and essential oil-based products with our school kids going back to school. And so I want to welcome you. And I love these little pictures. I can't take any credit for it. Grow Workspace did this. They're so cute. I love the little um, Feather the Owl diffuser. I have one myself. And the thing that I like about the Feather the Owl diffuser is that it's so kid friendly. If you have a kid that you maybe is the, the class monitor and his job or her job is to fill the diffuser, uh, at you know in, in the morning then it's one piece that he removes he or she can just remove the top place the water in you know designate how many drops of oil you want in there anywhere from six to ten especially if you have a larger room and he just puts the top on and then he can he can make it go use colors. There's different colors that are associated with the Feather the Owl diffuser. And also there is white noise. So like, um, like April, who's a daycare worker, teacher, she might choose to, during nap time, do a white noise so that they can feel more relaxed in that. So that's just on the welcome screen, but I do like to talk about the little Feather the Owl because he's one of my favorite little diffusers. And he's so easy to, to fill and he's so user-friendly, kid-friendly. Okay, so why are we even talking about uh, Young Living with schools? I, for those of you who know me, you know that I've been with Young Living for 21 years. And I have learned a lot over the years about teachers and how they've used them in the classroom. I got two people in the waiting room here. Uh, teachers and how they use them in the classroom. I know um, many years ago there was a movie out uh, called Ancient Secrets. Ancient Secrets. I, don't, I think that was the name of it. And anyway, there was a teacher in there talking about how she, uh, every morning, she would uh, get a, like a bucket with a, with a sponge and she would put a couple of, she'd wet the sponge and she'd put a couple of drops of peppermint on the sponge and she'd wipe down all the desks because she knew that the peppermint would keep her children alert. Now, why choose Young Living? Because we can feel comfortable and confident knowing that our oils are pure. 98% of the oils on the market today are adulterated, and they're adulterated with chemicals. And, you know, you might be thinking, well, <coughs> anymore, everything has chemicals in it. And that's a true statement. That's a true thought. However, what we're trying to do, what we're accomplishing actually, is to minimize the use of chemicals with our children. We're seeing that cumulatively, chemicals can cause a lot of um, brain disorders, like um, possibly allergies or exacerbating um, uh, focus, ADD or ADHD, or even um, autism. So we want to make sure that we're not adding to the chemical load that our children are being exposed to on a daily basis, just like we are, um, through the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food that we eat. So when you choose Young Living, you know that you're choosing the best. You're choosing the very best, the purest, the seed to seal. 
I can tell you this in all honesty, because I have actually been part of the dis distillation team with Young Living for four years in a row. I went up every winter in January and helped with the harvest of the Idaho balsam fir, which is now called the Idaho Grand Fir. And we also distilled Idaho blue spruce. We distilled some sandalwood that had come out of Hawaii. It had been shipped and then trucked up from the coast up into um, the, uh, the distillery. We, what other, oh, we did some red cedar wood one time, Western red cedar wood, but not enough that we could actually start to uh, sell it. But we did put, uh, I think Gary had used some of the cedar wood, the red cedar wood in his blends, in some of his blends. So we get small amounts anymore. We used to get larger amounts, but not so much anymore. We do reforest um, all of our the trees that we harvest for our oils or the plants that we harvest, we replant. And so we're constantly rebuilding, you know, and putting back in the earth that which she is giving us. So, and that's a and that's a wonderful. Thing, to know that we are not only, um, you know, gleaning from Mother Nature, but we're also giving back. So those are just a couple of little reasons why we choose Young Living, because we trust Young Living, because we know what we're getting, and, um, and we can feel confident. Okay, so again, let's talk about using essential oils with kids. So this teacher would wipe down their desks every morning with a couple of drops of peppermint oil. This would help give them mental clarity. At night, she could uh, wash down the desks with thieves cleaner or with a couple of drops of lemon because lemon kills bacteria and germs as well. So these are a couple of easy ways that you can use essential oils with kids in, in the classroom setting. At home, you can, um, you know, wipe down uh, their toys or whatever with Thieves, Thieves Cleaner. This is a really great thing, especially if you've got a couple of children and you are a little bit concerned about them swapping spit, so to speak, and you wanna keep, keep it all clean. Um, Every once in a while, wash those toys with um, with these cleaner and and wipe down you know their play areas if they have play desks or play tables. This is a good idea to wipe it down with um, with the thieves cleaner. The, it's very important to begin to create. Uh, daily routines and have consistency, especially if you're choosing to homeschool. If you're a teacher, it's, I was talking earlier about, you know, having maybe the class uh, monitor for the day, fill the diffuser, and a couple of really great ideas for filling the diffuser are thieves to kill airborne bacteria and viruses, clarity, which is really good for um, keeping you, them uh, alert. Really great oil for keeping them alert. It has pep peppermint in it. It has basil in it. Um, it has rosemary, which is really good for stimulating the mind. Now, there have been warnings on rosemary if your children are t have a tendency to epilepsy. What it happens is it seems to increase the activity of the brain, which in some children is a good thing, but in other children might be too stimulating. And so I just want to give you that little bit of a caution with rosemary. You may see a little bit of, you know, mind hyperactivity. If that's the case, immediately use lavender. Lavender raises the alpha waves in the brain and helps to balance out that hyperactivity. That's why that 
lavender is so, so good for um, ADD and ADHD. The, the other oils that were tested by Dr. Terry Friedman many years ago with EEGs for the treatment of ADD and ADHD were not only lavender, but vetiver. Vetiver is a very good oil and peace and calming. Peace and calming is a good oil too. So these are some of the oils that you can diffuse. Vetiver is a little thick, but you can diffuse it and maybe diffuse it with something that smells a little bit more uplifting, like a citrus, like a citrus oil. We're gonna give you some blend recipes here in just a minute, um, but we just, we want you to get in the habit of running the diffuser at night before they go to, you know, as they're getting ready for bed. And if you, again, get the feather the owl, then the kiddos can do it. Just teach them how to do it and monitor them a few times and they'll have it. Um, if you don't have a feather the owl, uh, the dew drop is not that complicated and you can teach a young child um, how to fill a dew drop. Maybe have a, a bottle, water bottle or a pitcher of water uh, on his nightstand so that she, he or she can fill the diffuser every night before they go to bed because they should be breathing in something that's health giving, life giving. A couple of recommendations would be, um, oh, cedarwood, if they're having trouble sleeping, cedarwood is a really nice oil. Um, there's another oil, Sleepy Eyes might be a good one. That's a Kid Sense oil that we discussed last week. And if you missed last week, you can get the recording off of my YouTube channel, which is Christina Campbell. Um, a, another great oil to diffuse at night for kids is Peace and Calming or, um, I mean, they're just so many. There's just so many. Um, balance, if you have any balance left. I just kind of pick and choose what I put in my diffuser at night. So whatever you're intuitively drawn to for those kiddos too, you know, might be good. Um, Sacred Mountain is a nice one. Oh, it's one of my favorites. And um, Thieves, you can do Thieves at night. Any respiratory oils, if your kiddo is maybe feeling a little congested, Raven would be good. RC would be good. Um, there's just a number of oils that you can use. Okay, moving on. So in addition to using essential oils with the diffuser and becoming consistent with that, you want to become consistent with other habits that the children have, like choosing a good healthy toothpaste and getting into the habit of brushing their teeth. This is really important. There are so many, there are so many toothpastes out there that tout the fact that they may be uh, healthy. Tom's is a good example. You know, Tom's toothpaste that you get in the health food store actually has SLS or sodium lauryl sulfate in it. And and if, or, or propylene glycol, some of them have propylene glycol, which is antifreeze. Sodium lauryl sulfate has been directly related to loss of eyesight and loss of hearing. Why would we put it in our kids' toothpaste, something that they put directly into their mouth and that gets directly absorbed into the bloodstream? Well, I'll tell you why. Sodium, sodium lauryl sulfate is one of the cheapest or most inexpensive ways to provide a sudzine action. And so foaming, sudzine. So you'll find sodium lauryl sulfate in just about any personal care product. Shampoo, um, body washes for sure. And uh, anything that foams, anything that foams. Bath, bath gels, any of that. However, Young Living has made it a point to give you pure essential oils in their products. And oh, by the way, everything else is organic and not, there's no chemicals. So you can see here, and last week we talked about um, the Kids Sense toothpaste, the bath gel, the lotion, 
and the shampoo, all of these totally natural. Now, many of you might be thinking, well, you know, I can get my kids shampoo from, you know, the grocery store or Walmart and pay a third of what the shampoo of Young Living is going to cost, or even a fourth. Well, I'm going to tell you that if you learn how to use Young Living products accordingly, you will find that it will be the least expensive shampoo or lotion that you could ever get in mainstream shopping, you know, going uh, into the mainstream stores. So I'm going to give you a little tip. And I learned some of this from one of my gals in my organization, Christy. And she, what she does is she dilutes the shampoo four times. So one quarter of a bottle and adds water to it will be one full bottle of shampoo for her kids. Now, you can either do it that way or you can use a very small amount. I have been using Young Living Shampoo for over 17 years because it, it's been about that long um, when, since it's come out. And the small amount that I use, and I have a lot of hair, as you can see, the small amount I use, my shampoo lasts, lasts me at least six months. One bottle lasts me at least six months. So, and I do wash my hair. <laughs> In fact, I just washed it for you tonight. <laughs> but the thing is, is that we can expand and extend these products because they are so, so concentrated. I remember um, giving a basic class at a, it was a, it was a hair, hair salon and the ladies were going to be there a long time because they were getting weaves put in. And uh, so I had, I've just had the whole show and I was passing around lotion and they, because of the way we have been brought up and the way we use products, over the counter products, these, I said, just use a pea size amount. And this one woman just squeezed it in her hand like she would any other lotion. And she had so much that she had to share, share it with four or five other women because, because she had too much on her hands. The thing is, is that you only need a small, when I say pea size, I mean pea size, about the size of the end of your baby finger. And that will cover your hands and it's got great emollients and then that those essential oils on top of it. So this is, so when people give you the, you know, excuse, well, you know, I'd get a better product. I'd get a healthier product, but gosh, they're just so darn expensive. This is when you tell them just how concentrated they are and how long they will last and how you can actually extend the amount. For example, this, this laundry soap, in fact, I'm going to go get my bottle right now. Hold on one second. This class, this part of this class is well worth waiting for because many people have asked me how I extend my laundry soap. So this Fish. is Steve's laundry soap and this is supposed to do 60 loads. So what I have done in the past is I've taken this label off. I've just peeled this label off and I put it on these bottles that I can get from Amazon. Okay, I'm going to have to put somebody on mute here. That's some loud people. <laughs> okay, so you can get these on Amazon. I think I got three for $17. I mean, I, you can get four, but I think I got three. And um, so what I do is I put one third of the bottle of 
thieves cleaner in here, which comes to about there on the bottle. And then I add about, oh, anywhere from two to four capfuls of thieves cleaner, just to kind of boost it. And then if you want, you can add essential oils like lemon or purification and, you know, a few drops. I don't always add oil because it's got oil in it. It's got thieves oil in it. And then you fill it with water. Now, I have an HE uh, wash machine, and I use two pumps of this. So one bottle like this will last me almost, well, we, had, we do a lot of laundry, even, it's, even though it's the two of us. It lasts probably eight to nine months, one bottle of laundry soap. Now, I actually did the math, and it was less than four cents a load. Now, if you go to any of the, oh, thank you, thank you, April. She actually put the BPA-free plastic bottles out there, the link to- They actually found it. They went back in stock. Yeah, they were out of stock for a little while. I think so many Young Living people were making their own laundry soap. Um, but I only do two pumps in a full load. Now, if you have a heavy duty load, like, you know, it's really filthy, <laughs> you might want to do four to six pumps, but I don't feel guilty about using four pumps if I need to, because less than four cents a load, you can't get a better deal than that. I mean, gain is four cents a load and gain is one of the most ex least expensive and it has some of the most horrible chemicals in it. You can smell the perfumes and all of those things. And Tide, Tide is upward to seven to 10 cents a load. That's a lot. So um, yeah, if you, four cents a load, oh yeah, I'm all over the thieves laundry soap. Even, even, I don't know. I just, I'm just happy about it because there, there's no, chemicals in it. There's nothing bad in it and it cleans so well. And then you have the thieves cleaner. And I mentioned that earlier about wiping down the kids' desks. This is a great thing to do um, if you need to clean anything in your daycare, the classroom, and of course at home. And then having thieves hand soap in in the uh, bathrooms would really be an added bonus for your kiddos because it's really gonna, um, it's the problem with antibacterial soaps is that they have caused germs to mutate. That because they're chemicals, germs are very intelligent beings, believe it or not. And that's how come they get a hold of us. Uh, and they will get stronger and actually mutate to overcome those chemicals. But natural things, they, because it isn't stable, like stable in a laboratory, they don't ever know how to really adapt to a natural thing. Natural, natural um, for, uh, oils and that kind of, I'm sorry? Somebody was saying something, I guess. Natural oils and natural foods, natural things, they have their own um, immune system. So they can combat these viruses and um, bacteria and, and the like. So these are things that you can use in your home. These are things that you can use in the classroom. Uh, we just have the best. For daily wellness, if you're a teacher, you want to make sure that you're, you're taking your supplements and you're being as healthy as you possibly can be. But do think the same thing for your children. We have the Kids Sense um, <laughs> line, which we talked about last week, but we also have vitamin D. And if you think your child needs vitamin D, our vitamin D is so tasty. And we have chewable vitamin C and we have tablets of vitamin C. We also have the Thieves Roll-On that you can carry in your pocketbook. 
um, you can have it in the classroom. It's just an easy thing. So think about daily wellness and keeping your immune system healthy. But also, if you're wondering what you can feed your kids in the morning and yourself, one of the best things that you can start your day off with is Minxia Red. Now, if your kids like orange juice, what I do is I put about two ounces of Ningxia Red in about three or four ounces of orange juice and teach them to just love it. It is so good. We call those Ningxia sunrises in our house and we've been feeding them to our kids and our grandkids and our great grandkids for since 2005. Other things that are available for your kiddos are the protein bites. I love these things. And they really do curb the appetite. These are a great way to start the day um, if they're just running out the door and they need something. It's so much better than a Pop-Tart. We wouldn't even consider giving our kids Pop-Tarts. Um, we have Einkorn Granola. Many of you don't even know that we have the Einkorn Flake Cereal. So it's like Wheaties. And, it, and they're really good. They're really good. So this would be a good choice. And then we have the Einkorn Pancake and Waffle Mix. And that might be used on those weekends when you have a little bit more time to make pancakes or waffles. But if you're in a hurry and you're rush, rush, rushy, maybe a bowl of cereal and a protein bite and a uh, glass of Ningxia Red with some orange juice would be a great start. Also, we have the Mighty Vites uh, Kids Vitamins and the Mighty Zyme Kids um, Enzymes. But last week I talked a little bit more about um, the Mighty Pro, which if your children are constipated at all, this is really the best thing to feed them. Um, anytime during the day, they can take a Mighty Pro. It's like a little pixie stick and it will help them to go to the bathroom. So if they're having any digestive issues at all, Mighty Pro is something that I would recommend. But kids should be taking enzymes with their breakfast as well. If they have a book bag, you can, you can get them uh, to use Aroma Rings. The new aroma rings that we got uh, this year, maybe put a little aroma ring in there. And if they're thinking, feeling a little anxious, place a little aroma ring in their nose, or they can even put it on the collar or the, their t-shirt or on their earlobe. Anywhere where it's just, you know, going to be uh, available for them to breathe. We have a couple of different scents of aroma rings. We, you, what you see here, I think, is lavender. And the other one was... Aroma Ease. Aroma Ease, yeah. And that's really good for calming and, and, and even tummy issues. Uh, you want to make sure that in their book bag they have a hand sanitizer. And so you can get the small ones for them. And you can refill those small ones with the larger hand sanitizer. If you are a teacher and you need a large sanitizer in your classroom, oh, please choose, choose the Large Thieves hand sanitizer. I keep one right here on my desk and I love it. Um, another thing that you might want to keep handy is a Thieves spray. If ever you're uh, going to the grocery store and you need to spray, the grocery cart handle, that's a good one. We use the Thieves Spray on the inside of our mask. So if you're wearing a mask, which most people are required nowadays, make sure you have some Thieves Spray to spray on the inside of your mask. This is really my first choice, is the Thieves Spray. There's a couple of other uh, roll-ons that you might wanna put in their book bags, Valor and Stress Away. And yeah, and those are just great. If they need courage to talk in school, Valor is a good one for that. And if they're feeling a little anxiety, um, they can all e either choose the aroma ring or the stress away. 
So let's go back to nighttime. I was talking about um, diffusing, and there's that little feather of the owl diffuser again. Here's a couple of things that um, we covered last week too. Mighty Pro and Unwind. If your kiddo is all wound up and just can't seem to calm down, you can feel confident with giving them an unwind. And one of the things that we learned last week was that unwind is really probably most flavorful if you put it in a small glass of water. Say about four ounces of water. Just uh, empty that little unwind packet in there, stir it up a little bit, and then have them drink that. Have them drink it uh, maybe a couple of hours before bedtime, because sometimes you might have trouble with them needing to use the bathroom at night. So um, unwind a couple of hours before they get ready for bed would be a good choice. Um, the Mighty Pro again is really gonna be helpful for any digestive or constipation issues. It's a prebiotic and a probiotic. Some other oils that would really be helpful would be rolling tranquil on their feet or on their back, on their spine on their neck, on the back of their neck or shoulders. And if they're really having a hard time sleeping, rutavala, rutavala on the feet and cedarwood in the diffuser. Uh, and then for you, Life Nine is a must. And um, make sure you keep it in the refrigerator. You don't have to keep the Mighty, Mighty Pro in the refrigerator, but we highly recommend that you keep the Ni Life 9, which is our probiotic as well for adults. Now we've used Life 9 for kiddos. You can just open up a capsule and put half in some applesauce or yogurt or whatever, and they'll get the same effect. It's just that they really like these Mighty Pros. They taste really good and, and, and it's made just for them. I hate to talk about below the wellness line, but I think it's important that we cover this tonight a little bit. If you do think you might, you might be coming down with something, there are a couple of things that you need to think about using. One of them is Immupro. This is a chewable that both kids and adults can take alike. The, the unwind does not have melatonin in it. And some parents are very um, conscientious about that. Immupro does have melatonin in it. So just be aware. Uh, it will help them to sleep if you are okay with the melatonin part. A couple of other things that we need to think about if we're not feeling well is maybe getting some inner defense in us. Now kids can take inner defense as well. But I would recommend that if they take it, they take it with a meal so that it doesn't burn their stomach, you know, um, be um, really harsh on their stomach. Another thing that I've learned, it's taken me years to figure this out, but mineral essence is delicious if you take it in a glass of cold water. I used to have to hide it in something and it, was, and it tasted horrible. I would put it in orange juice. I didn't want to ruin my Ningxia Red with it. So I was at the clinic in February, the Young Living Spa in Ecuador in February, and they gave us a wine glass with something cold in it. And I started drinking this. I said, what is this? This is so good. <coughs> and they said, it's mineral essence. And I said, no, it can't possibly be mineral essence. Mineral essence never tasted this good. They said, no, it is, it's mineral essence. I said, well, how much mineral essence is in this glass? Because, I mean, it was, you know, it was probably an eight ounce wine glass. And they said, three dropper fulls. And I said, you got to be kidding me. It just tastes so good. Well, I started drinking it like that in, at the spa. And then when I came home, I started drinking it like that. Cold water out of my refrigerator you know, filter, and because that's fairly cold. And I would put my three droppers full in there, and I don't have a problem with mineral essence at all now. In fact, I gave a couple of put baths on Friday 
and a couple of raindrops. And I gave them each a glass of mineral essence with the cold water. And they really liked it. So I think I've just been teaching people to hide it all these years when we should just boldly come out and put it in a glass of cold water. I like mineral essence. It's really, really helpful because it helps with cell to cell communication. There are over 60 ionic minerals in mineral essence. Now I know if you're a teacher, you're not allowed to really give your kids uh, anything like this in the classroom. However, you need to be taking this so that you can stay at your healthiest. Uh, another new item that we got at convention this year is the chest rug. And I never got an opportunity to, ch to, ch to use it because as soon as it came in my um, convention pack, I placed it in a mailer and I sent it to one of my uh, gals in my organization that had COVID and she had been suffering for a very long time. And so I never did get a thank you from her, but I, I, I'm hoping that she appreciated it. And I think that um, I think that it would have helped. That's one of the reasons that it was made so that you can breathe in the vapors right from, you know, they'll come right up from the chest and into the nose. So I like the idea that we now have a thieves chest rub and oh, it's a hands free. So it's kind of got a, oh, what do you call it? App well, it's got an applicator on it. So you take off the top and then you just rub it on the chest and the applicator allows the um, chest rub to just go on your chest and rub it in. So that's kind of nice. Another suggestion here is uh, breathe again. And Breathe Again now comes in a 15 mil bottle, so you can actually put Breathe Again in your diffusers at night. And that's kind of what, you know, I have actually taken the top off of the roll on, the roller ball, and put it in my diffuser because I wanted to breathe it in. But again, uh, for, for any kind of respiratory issues, we have RC, we have any of the eucalyptuses, and you can mix the eucalyptus with like a jade lemon or a lemon. Um, frankincense is good for respiratory. <clears throat> we have uh, Raven is one of my favorites. I love Raven. Hey, hey Christina. Raven Sarah. I'm sorry. Is there an age limit to use on the chest, the thieves chest rub? Not that I know of. All right, because that was a question in the chat. Oh, okay. Not that I know of. In fact, I think it, you know, it's, it's for adults and children. I think it's good for anyone. Yeah. All right. Thank you, April, for sharing that. Okay. So that's a below the wellness line and then emotions. And I'll tell you what I love. I love this calm, this calm, um, CBD. So if you have kids that are kind of hyperactive and, and you need to calm them down to focus, uh, the Calm Roll-On, the Nature's Ultra Calm Roll-On smells so wonderful. And it really does immediately just put you in a state of, I'm good. You know, I'm good. I'm calm. Also, the aroma rings and... Um, they're just they they last for about six hours these little nose rings and again you don't have to put them in your nose you can see they're very small and they're clear so very no one would know you even had it in there but you can put it on your earlobe or you can put it on your collar to breathe it in and there is lavender and there is the aroma ease oh i love this hey, hey christina mm. I have used uh, my aroma ring I, on the most upper part of my ear uh -huh. because I found that it sits better that way versus trying like the earlobe or anywhere else. And plus, if you put it down and you have to use your mask, you run the risk of oh. the, your mask pulling it, pulling it out that yeah, way. That's good. Well, I think if I were wearing a mask, I'd want it in my nose. But some people feel that it's... I, I tried my nose and it pulled it right out. Oh, okay. And I didn't well. know until 
I found it later. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that's not good. So maybe our recommendation would be to experiment with the aroma ring and the masks. Yes. Okay, I wanted to share with you some back to school diffuser recipes. So either get out your phone or make sure that you get, you know, so you can take a picture of these or uh, make sure that you listen to this uh, on my YouTube channel, Christina Campbell. So here are some great diffuser recipes. Please take your phone out and take a picture of this particular screen. And if you don't want to see, let's see if I can hide the, hide this a little bit better. Okay. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger maybe. No, I think it's good. Okay, so we have the homework helper. And of course, we were talking about clarity earlier because I think this is a really great um, essential oil blend for giving kids the ability to focus. Put two drops of clarity, three drops of lemon. Lemon is all, always helpful for uh, uplifting. And two drops of peppermint, great. Did you know that they did studies, Dr. William Denver did studies and found that children who breathed in peppermint oil had a 19% increase in test scores. A 19% increase in test scores. That's really great. Um, here's a happy kids, three drops of geranium, two drops of bergamot, and two drops of lavender. This would be a great diffuser recipe for night. Get your kids in the habit of using a diffuser. Get you get in the habit of using a diffuser. I, the last thing I do before I go to bed is I get, you know, I get myself ready for bed and then I get a glass of water to put by my bedside and I fill my diffuser. I fill my diffuser every single night. There is not a night that I don't use my diffuser. And this is the habits that you want to begin to create and cultivate. Here's a be brave. Now this would be a great one to start in the morning if your kiddos have to go away to school or if you have a lot of anxiety in the classroom. Be brave would be a great one to diffuse during the day. Three drops of stress away, two drops of valor, and two drops of Idaho grand fur. If you need a body boost, Maybe you've been out, maybe the kids have been out and they've been doing a lot of physical activity and they've been outside. Give them a body boost with three drops of thieves and three drops of citrus fresh. What a great blend. Keep it together. Maybe they're feeling a little, you know, distracted. Three drops of peace and calming four drops of orange. These are great diffuser recipes. And dreamer, four drops of envision and four drops of believe. I don't think there's anything wrong with dreaming. Okay, what, a, what great recipes. All right, let's look at some back to school roller recipes that you can actually put, you know, on their uh, bedside table for them to apply morning or night or put them in their book bag, um, you know, or just be using them during the day. Back to school roller recipes. Again, you're going to want to take your phone out and take a picture of these. Breathe easy. You can make your own breathe easy with two drops of lemon, two drops of lavender, two drops of peppermint, and two drops of copaiba. I know that there's copaiba in um, Breathe Again. Rest easy. Oh yeah, this is a great diffuser blend too. But you can make a roller ball with this. 
Three drops of lavender, two drops of Roman chamomile, and one drop of cedarwood. This would be great for diffuser at night. Focus, five drops of lavender, five drops of cedarwood, and five drops of vetiver. Oh yeah, remember when I was telling you the study that Dr. Um, Terry Friedman had done with kids with ADD and ADHD? The only one that is not in the focus recipe that he tested to be a positive, um, you know, positive for those kids is peace and calming. So cedarwood was one of those two that I think I left out. Lavender, cedarwood, vetiver, and peace and calming, all of those are really, really great for keeping your kiddos focused. Happy tummy. You can get have a kid sets tummy jies. That's always a good one. And you can put a roller ball on that for them. Or you can put three drops of digize and two drops of peppermint in a roller ball with carrier oil. And that would be fine for them as well. And then there's one called just chill. This is with peace and calming and stress away. And those two together are heavenly. I love those two together. I like Stress Away and Lavender too. I've actually become a big fan, fan of Stress Away uh, because of the aretum, Aroma Freedom Technique. So uh, we had that technique with Sandy Rausch a couple of months ago and I think we're gonna have to have her come back and do that again. That was really great. Um, and then the Be Well, there's five drops of thieves, three drops of frankincense, and three drops of lemon. Great back to school roller recipes. I hope you took your, cam your uh, phone out and took a picture of that. Okay, Vitality Capsule, Capsule and Ningxia Red recipes. Here's some great Vitality Capsules. The belly buster capsule. This is if they really are having some tummy issues or you are um, putting three drops of digize and three drops of peppermint in a carrier oil in a capsule is awesome if you can get them to take it. Um, the Aki Yuckies capsule. This has three drops of thieves and three drops of lemon. We used to have a we used to have a capsule that we would make that we called the Bug Buster. And it had eight drops of thieves, two drops of frankincense. No, wait a minute, it's 10 drops of thieves, excuse me. 10 drops of thieves, eight drops of oregano, and two drops of frankincense. And I will tell you that'll if you take up to three of those a day, that'll knock anything out. Absolutely anything. So this is a kiddo's version with three drops of thieves and three drops of lemon and in a carrier oil. Um, but it too can be really powerful. And then here's a keep calm capsule. Four drops of frankincense and one drop of citrus fresh, both vitality oils and a little carrier oil if desired. And you can give them in a double lot capsule. You can get capsules from Young Living. Uh, the bottle of capsules is 250 capsules in a bottle. So they'll last you a very long time. Now for some Ningxia Red recipes. Woohoo! I have made Ningxia Red um, popsicles before with pineapple juice and Ningxia Red. It is really good but you can make Ningxia Red gummies with one cup of orange juice, a half a cup of Ningxia Red, four tablespoons of gelatin, three tablespoons of honey, and four to six drops of orange vitality. And all you do is you heat up the juice and the honey on a very low heat, and when the liquid is hot, add the gelatin one tablespoon at a time, or you can use a little immersion blender, you know, one of those little uh, wand-like immersion blenders, and or briskly whisk it by hand with a whisk, and then add the essential oil at the end, 
and then put it into little silicone molds and refrigerate until the gum gummies harden, about three or four hours. When firm, you remove them from the molds and enjoy. You can, you can um, store them in a cool, dry place. You don't have to keep them in the refrigerator. How about a PB and J smoothie? Take one cup of mixed frozen berries, a half a frozen banana, two tablespoons of almond butter, a half a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. I think that's a half a teaspoon, honestly. A half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, eight ounces of unsweetened almond milk, and one ounce of ningxia red. Put it all in a blender and have your kiddos enjoy that, or maybe you'll enjoy it too. I like to put almond butter in my smoothies. It really adds a good protein pack, you know, punch, and I love the flavor of it. Here's a wellness red shot, uh, Ningxia red shot. One ounce of Ningxia red with one drop of thieves and one drop of copaiba. So you could add oils to their, um, their juice in the morning if they're familiar with having oils added to their drinks. And if they're not, have them start experimenting. What oil do they like? I know when my niece was here, her kids, uh, one of her daughters liked uh, Citrus Fresh a lot in her water. And so start them to choose, let them choose what oil they want to try. That way they're making the decision and they're more apt to accept it instead of, oh, try this, you know, forcing it on them. And they will find the ones that they gravitate to. They will find the ones that they love. All right, let's talk a little bit about how to get the best price. Now, I did talk about that as far as with the laundry soap, even the kids' shampoo and the lotion extend these things. But also, um, think about getting your essential rewards because. Any time that you do essential rewards, you are going to save money. You, you're going to save money. And I think the free shipping is coming out September 1, where if you do 100 PV on essential rewards, it's automatic free shipping. And so you'd save money that way. But also, you're going to get free stuff in return, and you're going to gain points. So for every 10... Uh, for every $100 that you spend, you're going to get $10 in points that you can reuse and spend on Young Living products. And that's for three months. If you sign up for ER, say, in March, you get 10 points for every $100 that you spend. So that's 10 in March, 10 in April, 10 in May. And then, so that's 30 points, and it's pretty much equivalent to $30 worth of product. And then in June, that goes up to 20%. So after three months, in your first month, in your fourth month, your essential rewards rewards goes up to 20%. And if you stay on essential rewards, like some of us can't help but stay on essential rewards because we use so many other products. In fact, I did my unboxing of my ER order the other day and put it on Diamond Miners. And um, oh, in that order was so many oils because I, was, I had started to get low on a few oils, but also I got the, um, I got the einkorn spaghetti that we love. And of course now I'm on a cleanse, so I'm not eating, I'm just drinking my juice. Uh, but it'll be there when I get ready. And what else did I get? I don't know. You'll have to look at my, your, my ER unboxing. But that's how you get the best price, is by getting on essential rewards. And we call that ER. And if you have questions about how to do that, uh, you can give me a call or your upline, and they'll explain to you. All you have to do is go into your virtual office and click on essential rewards on the left hand side of your of your screen as a matter of fact we're going to be going through the virtual office to familiarize you a little bit more this thursday i just wanted to add that um, so you'll get more familiar with the back office 
Sharing with friends and teachers. This is something that you can do. You can share uh, with little samples. Um, this picture down here in the left hand corner is a spray bottle that you can, you can get a spray bottle from the dollar store and put a tablespoon of thieves cleaner in there and fill the rest with water. One of these small plastic containers. I would say it's no more than eight ounces. And give this to your friends and your teachers to clean with and they will fall in love with thieves cleaner. This is one of the most inexpensive ways to share your cleaner or share Young Living. Another thing that you can do is you can make little roller balls and you can share a roller ball with someone because you're diluting. And so it's keeping the cost down for you. And you can get roller balls, different colors of roller balls on Amazon and just have fun with making different blends. I know quite a few years ago, well, I don't know. Yeah, it's been a few years ago. One of my gals in my organization, Lisa, she makes roller balls and she made this one and I actually bought it from her. It's called, I don't know if you can see that. It's called Tension Relief. And I know that it has peppermint in it and I don't know what else you put in it, but I love that. I love that, um, that blend. So share some of these things with your friends and teacher and share with them the awesomeness of Young Living. Just tell them why you love it, you know, why you use it, and then find out what their needs are and maybe you can help them out. All right, I'm gonna look at the chat now and see if we had any, can children use a chest rub? Yeah, great recipes. I missed to fill the rest with carrier oil. Does seem like much oil, not much oil correction. Okay, I'm Melanie, I think you're talking about the roller balls. You're muted, honey. Oh, you're still muted. There we go. Sorry. Um, it was back on the roller balls and you said drops and I guess I flaked out and didn't hear if you said fill it with carrier oil because I'm thinking, well, five drops of any kind of oil is not very much. So you're putting that much of the scented in and then you're filling the rest with carrier? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. That no, no, I didn't, I wasn't clear. Thank you for helping me become clear as well. Well, you probably uh, said it and just went. Yeah. So. Are there any other questions or comments? I'm going to stop 